Okay, now we're going to do a basic if statement. Okay, if statement uh, work, works like this. I'm going to say type in if. Then I'm going to type in whatever you want to test. So I want to test whether the text of the edit box is equals to Jill. This is a string. Remember the text of the edit box is a string. That's why Jill is in single quotation marks. And I'm not assigning values over here. I'm just testing values. Okay. So it's only equal sign. So if edit1.text is equal to Jill, then it must do everything between the begin and the end statement. So if that gives us a true result, it must do everything between the begin and the end statement. So what do, what do I want to do? I want to change the caption of the label. I want to say, welcome back, Jill. So if the user enters Jill, it's going to say, welcome back, Jill. So if it's not going to be Jill, it's not going to show anything. But when I enter the name Jill, it's going to say, welcome back, Jill. Okay. So now let's add the else statement. Okay. I commented the else statement out, so I'm going to put it back in. And as soon as I put the else statement in, I'll have to remove the semicolon in front of my else statement. Because now, this whole if statement is not done yet. So I'm going to re remove the semicolon. So now it's going to read, else, do this. If it's Jill, do this. Else, if it's not Jill, you must tell the user to go away. Okay. So if it's not Jill, it's going to do all the coding between the begin and end of the else statement. Okay, so I'm going to say my name is A. It's going to tell me to go away. But when I enter the name Jill, it's going to say, welcome back, 